same time Rex Sherman was killing the Gilgo Four, then we had the East Side Strangler in Atlantic City going hog wild on, on uh, sex workers in that area. And, and right before all that happened, in the 90s, bodies started showing up in different islands, you know, in different phases, like missing pieces, okay? They were, they were different pieces on different islands of the, for the same person. So now we have a third person that's really, really depraved, all working in the same area. Yes, guys, this is truly what was happening back then. That is a scary thought. That is a scary thought. And you're talking about women that have already isolated themselves from family and friends that are out there using, that are, you know, the only people that they're probably talking to are their pimps, their drug dealers, and their other um, friends that are out on the street right along with them. That's it. Their family's isolated. Their friends that they once knew don't know where they are. And nobody's looking for them because they know that they're out there in the street and most likely okay. There's people that are probably off the face of the earth that don't that their families will never know they're off the face of the earth. They're probably thinking and hoping that they're, you know, doing well and never seen again. And they're most likely gone. And those people will never, ever get justice. They just poof, gone. And no, and it's not that, that their family doesn't care about them. I'm sure if their family knew that they weren't here, they would be devastated. But they don't even know. And it's people like Rex Hureman across this country that is doing this. There's more out there. Hey, Steffers. Hey, honey. There's a lot more out there. 